Hello guys, how are you? For me, it's a beautiful morning But for you, I don't know Because I don't know what time you're watching this video Anyway, so I'm not going to tell you To stay away from Java or stay away from .NET That is not the point, right? So we are going to make a different point On a different scenario So this is how it goes Before that, make sure you subscribe to my channel Because there are so many good things you to watch Anyway So when you work on a large uh, software engineering organization like I do, we often have a problem that there are people waiting on the bench and same time there are demands on the project. The bench is the place where people are waiting until they get a project allocated. I mean, they are not physically waiting there. I mean, when you don't have a project, you allocate it to something, let's say, a project called bench. So, why this is happening? Because this is look weird, right? If there are people on a bench, how come they have a demand and why you need to do the external hiring? This is how it goes. So maybe the project has resources requirement for a Java, but the bench don't have a Java resources. They have a something like a .NET or a Node resources. This go vice versa. But here's my point. You guys are not Java engineers. You guys are not .NET engineers or uh, Node.js engineers. You are a software engineer. So this is how it goes. When you learn driving, you don't learn how to drive a BMW or Mercedes-Benz or Mitsubishi or a Toyota. You just learn how to drive a vehicle, right? It can be a business vehicle or a commercial vehicle or a personal vehicle. That's a different story. But you're just learning how to drive a vehicle, how to give the brake, how to give the gas, how to give the clutch and so on and so forth. But now you, you can get any vehicle. It can be a BMW. It can be a Mercedes-Benz. It can be a... Toyota or a uh, Mitsubishi, you still can drive. Why? Because you learn how to drive a vehicle, right? How to use emergency brakes, how to turn signal and everything. So likewise, you need to learn software engineering. I'm telling this, especially to people who's undergraduate, you need to learn software engineering, all the fundamentals of that. But don't try to say, I'm a Java engineer. I'm a .NET engineer. Don't be proud about a language or a product because that language or a product is out of your control. Let's say tomorrow they decide to discontinue the Java. They're not going to do it, but let's assume that. So what's going to happen to you? Because you're stuck to Java, so now you don't have a job, right? Let's say how about they discontinue on the node days tomorrow? You will lose the job. So likewise, don't be a product specific engineer. Be a software engineer. Learn all the software engineering fundamentals like uh, graphs and uh, like sorting, searching, and concurrency, um, scaling, those concepts. Then you just matter of applying this to uh, your new language. I'll give a nice example. Current project I'm working on, uh, we initially thought this is going to be a Java, but everyone decided, no, this is not a Java. This is going to be a Node.js based application, Node.js based backend. There was various reasons for that. We decided to go with the Node.js. So now by that time, we already had 25 plus Java engineers newly hired to the project, right? So now we're in a trouble. We hired 25 plus Java engineers, but we needed Node.js engineers. Now, what to do? So be is during the interview process, I was make sure more than the Java, there are really good on software engineering principles, like sorting, concurrency, and whatever you name, I was make sure they were so good on those. So within a matter of three weeks, three to six weeks, we had a special training program. We converted these Java engineers to Node.js engineers, and Node.js with the NestJS and the GraphQL, right? It's just a matter of four to six weeks. After that, for two and a half years, I believe, they work smoothly without any hiccups on the Node, on the Node.js and the Nest.js. Why? Because they were software engineers and not just Java engineers. So if you are a guy who just know the Java principles, then you're not going to make it. So what to do? Start from today. St st stop thinking I'm a Java engineer or a .NET engineer. Rather, start to think I'm a software engineer. Just thinking won't help, so start to learn. Become a full stack engineer. Learn few backend languages. Learn uh, one or two front end languages, frameworks, and work as a full stack engineer. So if you miss something, you have something. You get the point? Okay. So now, from today onwards, you're not a Java engineer. 
No, you are not a dot net engineer or a node engineer. Who are, who are you? I'm a software engineer who knows the software fundamental and principles very well. If so, your future is guaranteed. Talk to you again in a different video. Stay safe. Take care.